Have you ever wanted to have your say in the elections or referendums of another country? A website called The Global Vote has launched, giving anyone with an internet connection the chance to weigh in on the Brexit vote or even the US elections. Of course, the votes don't really count. The website acts more like a global survey on important decisions that could affect other nations. Simon Anholt is the founder of The Global Vote. He joins us live from London. Certain, certainly an interesting concept. Tell us more about why you came up with this idea. Well, the reason is pretty plain. If you just listen to Al Jazeera or any other international news channel for half an hour, uh, the modern world, it appears that we're being overwhelmed by global crises, uh, whether it's migration or terrorism or economic chaos or climate change. And we can solve all of these problems if only the countries of the world work together. The problem is that most of the time they don't. Most of the time they're looking inwards and their governments are only thinking of the needs of their own population and ignoring the rest of the world. So there how will this help no them to look democracy. outwards then? Well, we're helping them to look outwards by basically allowing all the people all over the world, and there are hundreds of millions of them, who would like governments to think more outwardly to have a say in the elections of other countries. So we will encourage people to listen to what the candidates for presidencies or prime ministers are saying and vote for the ones that appear to be most interested in doing something for the whole planet and the whole of humanity. So and tell our us votes how it will work. Count. Sorry, Simon. Tell us how it would work. We've got Brexit coming up shortly. How would you see it working yes. in something like that? Well, our fir the first two elections which we're offering at the end of this month are the Brexit referendum in the UK and the Icelandic presidential elections. They basically work, as work the same way. We put, a, we put some information on the website about the choices and the candidates in the case of uh, a presidential election. And then people go on the site, which is globalvote.org, and they can vote for the one that they prefer. And the idea is that if we get more votes outside the country than there are official votes inside the country, then the world has officially changed and people have got to sit up and pay attention. The world cares who runs different countries and the way that they do it. And I suppose getting involved in the vote, if you don't live in that country, helps you learn more about the situation there, doesn't it? Absolutely it does. And the, the EU referendum in, in Britain is a classic example because the consequence of that vote is going to affect hundreds of millions of people who can't vote in it. It doesn't just affect British citizens, but only British citizens can vote. So we're trying to correct that imbalance by allowing the world to have its say. Who were your brainstorming partners when you came up with this idea? Oh, friends. Uh, and lots and lots of governments. For the last 20 years, I've been advising uh, governments all over the world. And this idea has been slowly forming in my conversations with them uh, over that period. Well, what an interesting idea. I'll certainly keep an eye on it. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.